decked in yellow vests as a symbol of resistance. Thousands of people have been protesting in Libya's capital, denouncing the recent military offensive to seize Tripoli, led by the warlord Khalifa Haftar. Marching in Central Martyrs Square on Friday, they blamed foreign interference for the violence in their country. The powers that support terrorism in Libya are France, Russia, Egypt, Saudi Arabia and the UAE. We condemn the criminal acts against the Libyan people and the support of this rebel Haftar. We also condemn the United Nations mission because of their inability to handle the Libyan situation. We say no to the military rule and no to an individual rule, but yes to a civil state. The protests come after the White House said President Donald Trump spoke on the phone with Haftar earlier this week, offering his support and praising the warlord's fight against what he called terrorism and securing Libya's oil. Many are angry about that development. Well, of course Trump supports Haftar, because who initially brought him to the limelight? Haftar was put on hold so they can have someone to replace Gaddafi, and now they've brought him back to take over. But we, the Libyan people, are against Trump and against Haftar. We want civilian rule and freedom. Khalifa Haftar's forces in the east have been fighting to take control of Tripoli from the internationally recognized government for the past few weeks. Since then, violence has escalated and more than 200 people have been killed. And there are efforts to find a political solution. Libya lies in the center stage of the Arab Spring, and there are some powerful forces, diplomatic, military and political, that have been behind this. It's not about the endorsement of Haftar's offensive. Haftar launched the offensive in front of Antonio Guterres two weeks ago on the 4th of April and doesn't really care about endorsement. He wants to go at his own way. This is much more about endorsing Haftar's backers, the UAE and Egypt, that do have military assets on the ground. Libya has had two rival governments since 2014, and violence has followed among their rival militias. Many Libyans now fear the next few months could bring even more instability. Rahila Mohammed, Al Jazeera.